Hi everyone, welcome, Brian here from the London Craftsman. How's it going today? I'm just gonna be showing you a little bit more about the Trend CRT router table, um, my little setup. And the last video, I believe, was me using the machine, rebating the bottom of these drawer components. Um, and that was the first time I'd used the machine after I just initially set up. So let's just go over it. We've got the CRT Mark III router table with the power on, power on. We've got the T14 router and we've got the T35 mover. Great little combo and they work really, really well together and surprisingly cheap for what they do and the quality of them. Not just saying that, it's very, very, very reasonably priced. If you compare it to other big names like Festool, they'll be five times the price. This does the job superbly. So today um, I'm just showing you the shake style door, um, wrong way around. Um, I made this for a video which is probably either been or coming, don't know which order I'm doing this. Um, and as you can see I've made it with loose tongues, see these tongues here and we've just simply just put a groove on the inside of these components, the stars and the rails. Just going to go over that right now just to show you um, the cutter and to show you in action on how to make the shaker style doors or at least how to use the router table in order to create those grooves for your shaker style doors. All right, so without further ado, let's get cracking. So there we go, we've already got the cutter set up, but I do have another one of those cutters. There you go, it's one of these grooving cutters. This one's a little bit bigger. We've gone for the six mil. In there and we've literally just put a feather ball in the front and a guard so when we push through our material it holds it, it hold, holds it down for us we've also set up the fence so it's in the right position to give us an eight mil groove and here's an example this is what we did yesterday this is what we are trying to achieve by having this six mil groove in the center it gives us another six and a six because we are using 80 mil material you can use 22 and it's probably a bit better if you do use 22 because it leaves you a little bit more meat on both sides. Um, but 18 mil is absolutely fine. We're doing the 6 mil rebate in the centre to allow for a 6 mil panel. And there we go, we've got a couple of strips of 6 mil. They simply just slide in with just the perfect amount of friction in there. So when you put your panel in and your loose tongues um, to make your doors, like so then it's the perfect amount of resistance to clamp up and get your glue in there and give you a nice perfect door. So I think what we're going to do now is just give you a little demo of the uh, machine in action. So yeah, I was planning on making this video and put it up for this week, but I'm having problems with the editing software. So when I try to um, edit it, the sound, the audio is going out of sync with the footage. So it's a bit of a pain in the arse, got to get that solved. Um, it only happens when I put it in the software, so trying to figure that one out. So I've had to figure out another video to put out for today um, to do with this machine, so that is the reason why I'm just showing you how to set this up, but the main video should be still to come. So to create these doors, we're simply going to need to put a groove all the way along the long edges of all the components. These are the styles, these are the rails. And on the rails, we're going to need to also groove the small edges too. As you can see there, that allows for the tongues. To do the smaller edges, we are going to have to use this mice fence. Um, but to do the longer edges, the longer edges, we just push it through using the feather board. So let's just do the longer one first, and then we'll do the short edges after. Okay, so let's go for it. Like I said before, it is already set up because I did make that door initially. Um, so yeah, let's just pull the power button out. There you go, perfect groove in the centre, 8mm deep for this particular job. Let's go ahead and do the smaller ridges. 
So yeah, for the smaller edges, you're going to have to use the miter fence. Um, if I took that away and just attempted to do this on the fence, the, the shoulder is so small, it probably is possible, but it's got the chance of being sucked into the cutter and God knows what would happen. Best to be safe. All right, let's turn on and show you that. shake style doors and to put that six mil panel in and I do have a little bit of six just to show you and it works absolutely perfectly perfect amount of resistance for that panel to slide in a bit of glue in there and that will just give you the perfect joint along with the tongues the false tongues that you're going to be sliding in to join the styles with the rails with this machine this is what you can achieve make shake style doors like this in no time at all really easy and quickly with no dust whatsoever can you see any dust coming out of this machine not a single speck so um, if you like the video you can like and subscribe or the usual if you want to see more either just wait for that other video that i'm going to edit or go back and watch uh, the one where i was making uh, drawer components uh, rebating the bottom with the rebate cutter so there you go guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Always like to see a comment and I like to reply to them also. Um, don't forget to watch um, the previous video which was all about the drawer components, the rebates. Yep, using the rebate cutter. And uh, yeah, possibly this one with this door is to come if I can figure out how to solve my editing problems. Other than that, take it easy, have a good rest of the day.